A kitten is recovering after veterinarians say someone shot it with a pellet gun. It was found on the side of the road in Westmoreland County yesterday morning, and veterinarians are unsure whether it will be able to walk again. Amy Wattis has the story. Meet Gidget, a six month old kitten that's paralyzed. She pulls herself around on her front legs, but is not using her back legs. Dr. Danielle Voke is fostering her for the time being. Gidget was found lying on the side of Trescovish Road in between 2nd and 3rd Streets in Hostetter, Westmoreland County, around 9 Thursday morning. Voke initially thought the kitten was hit by a car. After initial exam, she has a little pellet underneath her one armpit here, and we took x rays. A second pellet was found in Gidget's vertebrae, paralyzing her. Voke doesn't think she will need to do surgery to remove either pellet for now. Essentially, we're waiting to see if she regains function in her back legs, whether that vertebrae heals on its own. Right now, it's unclear who shot Gidget or why she was left on the side of the road. Fortunately, someone driving by spotted the kitten and called Paws Across Pittsburgh, a nonprofit rescue group. A volunteer took Gidget to Voke's mobile office in Derry before she was taken to Avalon Veterinary Hospital. Dr. Voak says it could take a few weeks or even up to a few months before she knows whether or not little Gidget will remain paralyzed. But she is moving her legs a little bit, so she's hopeful that Gidget will pull through. Initially, with any kind of spinal trauma, you want to wait until the inflammation kind of resolves. And nerves do regenerate a small amount. I mean, whether she's walking or not, sometimes you'll have special owners that want to make them a wheelchair or whatever like that. Gidget also has fleas, ear mites, and an upper respiratory infection. If you have any information on who could be responsible, you're being asked to come forward. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.